What's up guys, Dark Lord of Sword here. Er, got another one here for you today. This is going to be part two of the three uh, Tsunagi Katana that I have, of uh, that I gave to my friend Snow, oh, and uh, didn't get a chance to do videos on before. Fortunately, they live in the area, and they were willing to let me borrow these again, and so that I could make videos on them, and also do a couple of touch-ups. This is a Wakazashi that I made by a, uh, simply trimming off a chunk of the suka from, or sorry, a chunk of the uh, nakago, the tang of the original tsunagi, and then using part of the blade length to make the suka. This one's design is based on the Aikuchi style of mounting, which is made, uh, which is where there is no ito whatsoever. Instead, it is just the uh, just the samagawa, which I have recreated here using the texture of the suka, and then just a fushi and kashira, and a hamidashi suba, which is a suba that is much smaller than normal. It's it's usually just a quarter inch or so beyond the edges of the fushi. This was also an early effort at using a painted-on habaki rather than a foam one, which I could take or leave. And this being an older piece is made with my old style of uh, hamon, where the blade is painted first with, with a silver, uh, silver, uh, silver sterling paint, and then and, uh, followed up with a rub using silver rub and buff. I said this is going to be part two of three, but next week we're actually going to be on a little bit of a break because uh, happy Hispanic Heritage Month. Catch you in the next video. Dark Lord out.